Good day, Ruskin and Jewers. I hope each and every single one of you is doing all right out there in the world. Right now, it's the 7th of October, and it has been two days since all of these new skins rotated into the Rust Store, and we're going to go ahead and talk about each and every single one of them to talk about whether they're still potentially a good investment to make, or maybe some things have happened and maybe it looks a little bit awkward. Maybe we should avoid it, if you get the idea. So... Let's just talk about the first 24 hours of sales, or more specifically, I was a little bit late getting this screenshot, so it was actually like 26 hours, I know. Unfortunately, the data might not be 100% correct, but like at best, maybe just remove like 5% of the uh, subscriber count that you see here. But even then, even then, you can clearly see there's a lot more sales compared to what we've seen previously in the previous 48 hours, when we're looking at the first 24 hours of sales over the past month. These skins are more in demand, and they're getting bought out a whole lot more. As you can see right here with the Bluetooth garage door, this has just about 15,500 bare minimum sales. Now, let's be real here. SMM cannot track every single account. There's a lot of accounts out there that probably maybe like have a thousand of these, and there's a good reason for that, and we have a video to showcase this. So this is pretty popular. Definitely looks like it's going to be doing about 30,000 sales. And then you have the likes of this Tier 3 armor. So, like, for the past six weeks, we had uh, San Rhino Tier 3, which is good for the desert. Redemption Tier 3, which is just nice and flashy, like a Ferrari, if you want to stand out and look cool. And now you've got this Thunder Gold, which you potentially might want to use in the snowy environments. You might get a bit cold. But anyway, this also looks really cool, and people really do seem to be appreciating it. As you can see, bare minimum, ten, like just about 11,000 sales here and 11,500 sales here. So this was the first 26 hours. <laughs> but you can see that this is pretty popular. Even the Chameleon Sar, just, just about 9,000 and bare minimum sales if you can remember subscribers indicates the absolute bare minimum amount that have been bought we just don't know how many those subscribers might have bought so we've talked about this enough let's now hop over to the sales as of 48 hours and what do we see the brutalist garage door is reaching up to about 20,000 sales and the thunder gold seems to be settling about around 14,000 so in this video we're going to go ahead and as i said take a look at each and every single one of these skins and try and figure out what potentially might they end up at in terms of total sales and what prices we might want to consider potentially like we do that for the abnormal builders but we could probably easily in, in, like get a good idea of how we're probably going to approach certain things immediately like right now so anyway let's just start talking let's start talking specifically about the brute of this garage door so this is four dollars and the main interesting point about it is it's a glow in the dark garage door which just so happens to have a very insane amount of transparency you can see through that however we should also point out the people outside your base can also see through that as well but you know on both sides of the base you'd rather be inside it wouldn't you you're, you're the one who's safe and remember with a with a spray can you can easily just quickly switch garage doors so you don't always have to have that if you're smart and you have the spray can you could just quickly spray to it get a good look outside yeah i see no door campers all right i can hop out now yeah or maybe they're just like right below here <laughs> you know stupid things like that can happen but then again there are other other garage doors that you can utilize to be able to see under here as well if you'd like that's pretty expensive but anyway anyway thanks to micro he has supplied to me a very useful video here which we can get a good look at and look at that look at this that is how much you can see through it so for four dollars is that worth your time is that worth the money do you reckon another quick look yep so once again thank you very much mr micro for uh, showcasing this to me we looked at it yesterday on my stream and a lot of people are feeling very enthusiastic for this now so back over to here this is very ridiculous and very ridiculous considering that we have charitable rust next week and we have a transparent garage door like set in stone for next week as well in the rust door <laughs> but this is four dollars and the immediate thing that i talked about and i've been debating with my uh chat my, in my um my streams and whatnot is would you rather have the brutalist garage door which of course blends in nicely with the brand new brutalist building skin that's uh, for stone or would you just stick with the likes of the bombshell garage door which right now is selling for around wouldn't you guess about four dollars so here we go let's take a look at this now and let's start really cranking down what would you think well what would you rather pick because 
Brutalist isn't finished. Brutalist is still getting purchases. Brutalist very likely will be getting about full, <clears throat> 30,000 sales. Sorry, I saw the four. 30,000 sales the Brutalist is expected to reach. This will be more compared to the Bombshell Garage Door. So if we just look at the uh, previous garages of the uh, past. Yep. Not, <laughs> wow, they're all in the negative. But all skins are suffering at the moment. We've been over this, haven't we? Scroll down and here we see the Bombshell Garage Door. 22 fans of these apparently exist, all right? They're, that's the amount that we have in circulation. So, just being aware of that, with this already reaching bare minimum 19,500 purchases after only two days, yeah, there's definitely going to be more of these compared to these. So the values of the price, you know, the prices of these and whatnot are definitely going to be a fair bit awkward. Technically speaking, you could probably sit here and say this might be oversaturated. Oversaturated based on there's far too much quantity compared to actual demand. You know, if they don't match up nicely, the value of the skin will either, you know, potentially go down and crash or if there's not enough of them based on demand, the price can only go up because all the stock is getting bought out. So it's either uh, suffers or flourishes. <laughs> um, so we also need to consider that uh, with the current player count, we are expecting a nice increase of people jumping back in around December time. I, again, I'm expecting... 100,000 average players for January 2024. That's my expectation. I wonder if we will beat last year's, or rather this year's January time, uh, average player count. We shall see. But like I said, a lot of people are going to be jumping back in. They probably don't even realise this exists, and they're going to be thinking, you know what, I think I want to buy that. So, the smartest approach is buy orders. This is an abnormal skin. We would probably rather look at this on Wednesday, look at the amount of sales it has, and make a decision how we're going to approach it based on how much money we might want to offer and whatnot. But looking at that right now, and having seen the people's reactions to it, I do think this is going to be a nicely cherished skin. But I can't imagine the price of it's going to be fairly stable during October at the very least. Because you've got to remember, there's a lot of very impatient people who, if they don't see profits instantly, they just unload all of their stock and disappear. Like, uh, I, I, I've just I've just bought a whole bunch of these AKs earlier today. Um, I don't know why people do this. Right, up, Starry Dream. So, uh, he bought them all for, uh, what, $2? And then he dumps them onto me for, like, 90 cents, literally, like, a week later. <sighs> people are strange. People are really, really strange. So, you've got to understand other people exist and, yeah. <laughs> so, um, looking at this... I'm pretty sure we're probably going to see a very similar situation in regards to the double sheet middle door that we had last week. What are you on about, Hedge? Well, look at the support this has. This sold for $2.49 in the rust door last week. I'm, or I'm sure you remember. It was literally just last week. But look at the buy orders it has. So when we did our abnormal buy orders, someone put down 800 quantity at $2.50. It looked instantly a perfectly fine thing to buy. But of course, you know... People just can't help themselves. They need to just list it lower than all the other people. There's people out there that need to unload all of their stock. So even though this is super, like this is like fortified, it, sh it surely cannot go below $2.50. This still went down to fairly close to the price of $2.50. All right. So again, brutalist. list, whilst it looks really cool, this could potentially be the expected outcome. A lot of them were bought. A lot of them will be appearing on the Steam market, and it very likely will be selling around the same price that it's sold for in the Rust Store. So this is an expected outcome. But again, with a good buy order, you could potentially pick them up for a very, you know, for a fairly decent price. And then, you know, uh, when post Christmas hits, potentially it rises up in price very nicely. Would this potentially turn into a collection? I don't think people really care too much about this specifically being a collection. They care more about the transparency. So, yeah. What do you reckon? This or this? What's your vote? Which one do you prefer? Do you have both? Have you got a nice opinion to uh, uh, offer based on what you've seen from both of them? Um, will this potentially go back up in price to what it was a, a few months ago? So about what? Just a few months ago, this was selling for about like $8. Yeah, around $8 back in July. And of course, since then, you know, autumn full seasonal dip it's gone down in price but will it recover will it rebound will it go back up and even higher for january 24 2024 time we shall see so there's a lot of context to throw out to you there as of now brutalist definitely is a very interesting skin to keep an eye on but i get the feeling we're going to see the exact same situation that we just saw with the bombshell sheet middle double door and i'm pretty sure 
that's going to hold on very nicely and as in retain its value all the way into January time and then magically it'll just start rising in price from there on. That's my current expectation so it probably will be a perfectly fine thing to buy. I wouldn't be surprised by that but let's just see how much sells by uh, Wednesday time and then yeah we'll make a decision then. Sounds good. So Bruce List you're fine. We saw a good video of that. Once again, thank you very much, Mr. Micro. And Mr. Micro, let's start talking about your tier 3 armor. Yes. Made by Micro and Mr. Morphus. Congratulations, you two. You've had a bit of a drought, but now lots of people are clearly enjoying your skins. This is a brand new collection to keep an eye out for. Will we potentially see some more clothing and armor soon? I would have reason to believe. I think we will. But we have to be aware of the next rust doors next week is charitable rust we can't guarantee we're definitely going to have some like normal rust skins with charitable rust skins i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on there if you were to take a look at the uh, rust workshop right now you might notice uh, let's just hop out of here let's just hop out of here there's a lot of halloween skins being submitted at the moment i'm not sure well, there's a brick door there. That's not very Halloween-y. Um, I'm not sure if uh, skin creators can still submit normal skins, or they have to be Halloween skins this weekend. Not 100% sure at the moment. But regardless, yeah, you're probably not going to see uh, you're probably not going to see any uh, continuations happen for a while. Not at least until November. Next rust door next week is charitable rust. The week after that, October 19th, that'll be Halloween week one, the Halloween rust door. And then for week two, uh, that'll be October 26th, Halloween rust door week two. And then after that, it'll be November 4th swipe. And then, yeah, things around then is where we're potentially going to start seeing all the continuations, like maybe Redemption Tier 2, because that didn't get accepted this past week. Or uh, maybe you'll see some of those hoodies and pants that we didn't see being accepted for the past month. <laughs> So there's a lot of con you know there's a lot of competition. A lot of collections are racing to try and see if they can be uh, complete or not. And uh, well, this is a new contender. How do you feel about this skin? Because we don't see many white collection <clears throat> we don't see many white collection skins that much, do we? In fact, for like the past two years, we have not seen one single one. If I just to uh, show you this real quickly, so here's all the face masks over the past two years, and how much white coloured skins do you see? Uh, you might say pirate face mask, but it's mostly black so yeah and then scroll down what do you see here there's no white skin there and then you scroll down here you see white out <laughs> um so yeah in terms of how many white collections there are you got white out you got no mercy no mercy is like a black white hybrid but it, it's got a, quite a lot of white you got test dummy you got camouflage which again is also white and black and you do have doodle but it's white and black and then, yeah, you have the Glory collection. So you do have some other options. Don't go sitting here saying, oh, this is a budget whiteout set. There's other white collections that already exist that are cheaper than this already. So don't consider trying to say that. But I shall point this out. With the whiteout collection over here, um, it is still holding on very nicely and it is quite expensive. But we did see quite a lot of these kilts getting bought out as of October 5th when the rust all rotated. So I get the feeling people were very eager to pair up something with the uh, Thunder Gold. So if we just look at this, you might notice how the price of the skin, you know, has been going down, autumn full seasonal dip. But very strangely, right here, the price just starts to go up a fair bit. I wonder what prompted that. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> so yeah, people looking for something to pair up with that. So I do get the feeling that there's a lot of very eager people awaiting the likes of Tier 2 armor and of course hoodie and pants. So just be aware, we're very likely not going to see it until about November time. Just be patient, chill out. But if you are worried that other people aren't going to be patient, if you are worried that other people don't fully understand this, maybe you'll probably want to stick with doing a buy order. Because as I have said, if people don't instantly see profits, they get angry and frustrated and they dump everything and run away. It's unfortunate, but it happens a lot. And it is still October. October time is still bad times. But, you know, once we get out of October, we hit November, things start to improve a little bit. It's still bad, but things start to improve then. And then we hit December. December kind of like... It, 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 it's okay, but the end of October, uh, at the end of December is great. And then, of course, January and... You understand this. How many times have I said this? Why do I have to keep repeating myself? Well, you know, I've got to keep it in your head. Because if you don't make any profits after all of this talk, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. <laughs> but anyway, the safest approach is both of these skins are abnormal. All right. So maybe you want to do our abnormal barders first. And then, of course, look at the uh, barder support afterwards and make a de decision based on what we see. But with the likes of Whiteout Collection getting more and more expensive, 
maybe with what you see here it might be something that you real you will realize that not only are people liking it based on what they see and a lot of people have said this looks awesome i bought it instantly but maybe a lot of people are just looking for a much more affordable white collection and uh thunder gold it looked cool and uh Again, if you happen to like what you see, by all means, buy it, use it, support the skin creators, okay? You don't have to buy skins purely based on wanting to make a profit. You can buy a skin simply because you like it. But we are looking at everything with a financial you know, perspective. And the main thing we're talking about is, do I want to buy 50 of these or maybe 100? You know, things like that. That's what we're approaching. So as of now, I know a lot of people really do like this. And based on the number of sales that we see, it's doing a whole lot better compared to some of the other tier 3 pieces after a full week of being in the rush store. We've already seen the likes of Thundergold beating Sand Rhino. We've already seen it beating the likes of Renegade, I believe. Renegade got up to 14,500 here. Yeah, we've basically already matched up to it after two days. So this is expected to probably do about 20,000 sales, maybe a little bit more. In the grand scheme of things, that's not that much. That's not that much. We've seen, we've seen tier three pieces sell a lot more than that. <laughs> so... Things are looking interesting. It's another collection to keep an eye out for. But like I have said, you've got to kind of wait until November to see any more progress. All right. So things are definitely looking very promising with the likes of that. I hope you enjoy it. Let's now move on. Let's start talking about Chameleon Sar. Now, a very interesting meaty detail has been seen on the workshop comments page. Mr. Milho Frito has basically confirmed he does, 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 does want to turn this into a collection with clothing and armor and whatnot basically emulating exactly the same thing that we saw with the tempered collection so keep that in mind maybe that's going to keep you know that might give all of the weapon skins that we've already got a lovely push in the future and that might encourage you to consider investing into the chameleon collection whilst it's at its cheapest price because if you look over to here they're not like doomed look at all these skins down six percent down 18 percent down 15 percent if this is it at its worst what's it going to look like at its best think about that okay and again, look at the uh, skins itself. Look at them and see if it's just like a straggler or is there any resistance there? Is it actually even doomed? Well, this sold for $3 and let's just count all the ones below $3. So let's just kind of round this up about 15 there, 25. Okay, there's like 30 of them below <laughs> $3. But hey, at the end of the day, if we do keep seeing more and more chameleon weapon skins... I do think things are working out very nicely for the whole collection. Now, you're going to need some very cool, flashy-looking collections to pose in front of your weapon racks with, if you get the idea. So, Chameleon Sar, you're brand new, and as of now, you seem to have got about just about 11,000 sales in total, bare minimum. We very likely will be seeing about 20,000 sales. I'm pretty sure we're going to, you know, overtake this MP5, but we do have to consider what's likely going to happen with this. And the very first thing that I could imagine with this is I, I, I do still think it's going to go below its rustle price. I am still expecting that. Go take a look at every single saw that came out this year. And what do you see? Well, look at that. Awkward. Very awkward. All of them are in the negative. What about some of the skins that came out last year? Well, Blackout Saw is fine because it's a Blackout skin. Banger Saw was manipulated. I can't fully remember why. I think it was just manipulated for whatever reason. I mean, it's not like there's that many of them in circulation. But yeah, look over to here. Comic Sar, pure white. Loads of people like to use it in the uh, snowy Arctic environments. Tempered, just looks nice. Toy Sar, pretty colourful and goofy. So there's only a few Sars over the past few years that have come out that have held their value during these bad times. But when it's good times, I do expect a very nice portion of these to improve and do quite nicely. Hell, the Arctic, the Arctic Skull Sar is only down a little bit, but the joke was this is like the budget version of the comic Sar. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this right here. Aim down the site, what do we see? A perfectly fine aim site. It's got a multicolored aim site, so it's purple, but with a bit of a green tint right there. So that's pretty good for every single environment. I see no issues there. And then, of course, when you look at this GIF, the nice sheen from purple into green and back to purple, it's ever so glossy, shiny. And I think a lot of people will be greatly appreciating this skin set from here and now and into the future. And I will repeat myself, Mr. Milio Frito, does intend to make this into a big fat collection. We are going to see clothing and armor at some point, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see, if we see deplorable skins and whatnot. And it's the perfect complementary set for his tempered collection. He's made both. So all the better to you, Mr. Milio Frito. Keep up the good work and keep supporting him. Keep showing your uh, appreciation for all these skins if you want to see more of them. But looking at this with a financial perspective, after seeing all of those SAR skins, 
I do kind of expect this to go down to about two dollars. It's probably going to lose about like twenty percent of its value. It's still October. It's still October. Shut up, fine. It's still October. Okay, so do understand that mainly due to the fact that we have less people about and a lot of people just don't seem to uh, have any faith in skins at the moment you very likely will be seeing this go below its rust or price but the future it's looking promising i do think this is going to work out very nicely in the future i think it's going to be a perfectly perfectly fine thing to do a very good buy order on pick up a whole bunch that when you can and then january 2024 time hopefully this potentially doubles in price and then as time goes on only gets uh and he gets even more invested into and increases in price. So that was all the positive stuff I could think of. Comedian, sir, let's see what happens. But as of now, I'm probably just going to be sticking with doing a, uh, a buy order. Moving on, we have the Arctic Skull SMG. So Arctic Skull Collection, unfortunately, it's not like Redemption Collection. It's not like a Chameleon Collection. It's a little bit awkward. Now, the, as I've already said, the Arctic Skull SAR seems to be doing reasonably okay, purely based on the fact that uh, Comic SAR sells for like $12. This right here, it's like six times cheaper and basically mostly white. Now, when you look at the likes of this, yeah, it's mostly white, but who cares that much about um, custom SMGs at the moment? It's awkward, but we did have a buff recently. Thompson's custom SMGs and MP5s, they all got a buff. And, well, I don't think we've seen too much of a difference based on, uh, you know, the purchases of the skins and whatnot. But the likes of this Arctic Skull custom SMG, we do have to take into consideration all the most recent custom SMG skins that we've had over the past year. And, yeah, awkward. Down 33, down 49, down 61. The Redemption custom SMG is already down by 33%. That's struggling, but it's retaining its value at $2, so that's kind of okay. But let's just hop out of that, go back over to here. So... Yeah, I kind of wouldn't be surprised that that probably struggles. I, it's it's the harsh reality, I'm afraid. I'm not hating on the skin. I just know people right now they're probably just going to instantly ditch that. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So the more you are aware of other people's behaviour, the more you are aware of what's likely going to happen to skins. And that custom SMG, well. I'm thinking it's probably just going to be a 70 cent to the 90 cent buy order. It probably will end up at around $1. It's awkward, but what can you do? So, yeah, I'm probably just going to be sticking with doing a buy order on that skin. Nothing wrong with it. I do like the little gifts that they keep producing. <laughs> yeah, all the Arctic Skulls have a bit of a gimmick where uh, the lower jaw on the uh, on the ammo... You know, you can remove it and then, yeah, and you can do that. It's cool. So, best of luck to you, Mr. Hook and Alloy. And uh, let's see if you could uh, potentially make a bone skull, you know, an, an Arctic skull bone skull skin. You know, that might be pretty good for the winter. Oh, who gave you that idea? Oh, I don't know. Let's move on. Right. So, UAP Pilot Satchel. So, the, the instant problem that we're going to bring up is satchel charges. So... You make a satchel charge, you throw it, it explodes, it's gone. It's vanished. It's no longer there. Why would you want to skin something that's going to vanish after throwing it like five seconds later? <laughs> Do you understand? Now, we already had a very notable skin that came out last year, that being the satchel charge from hell. Sold for $2.49, right now it's selling for $1.40. Why don't we just go take a look at this uh, behavior, you know, the sales behavior over the past like year or so, and just kind of see how things beha like, like happened how it rolled out, how it existed. So just to confirm, right now this is selling for about $1.40. Look at all the listings and, well, no major serious, like, uh, quantity walls or anything. So it just doesn't seem to be very in demand. And then, as I said, look at its sales history. How's it behaved over time? It was doing pretty all right initially. Then it went down. Then it went up a little bit. Then it went down. Then it went up a little bit. And then it went down. <laughs> so around May time, it kind of peaked up back to around uh, $2.49. And then it went down. So, hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. This seemed to have done pretty all right for a reasonable amount of time. But for the vast majority of time, it's been below its rustle price. Like, very prominently. So, back over to here, we have the UAP pilot satchel. And he looks really, 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 really silly. Just look at him. He's just screaming. Ah! <laughs> so, with that, I'll be honest with you. I just... Don't think he's going to be retaining the $2 price. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. I could probably expect this maybe going down to like maybe 70 cents or something. It's awkward, but we should point out this collection here, this UAP pilot collection is really odd. I've said this several times this week already, and I'll say it again. So you've got all these skins here, but they have hardly any quantity on the Steam market. Just take a look at all of these skins. As you can see, it's mostly a deplorable collection, but there's only 46 
furnace skins right here with hardly any like quantity walls so no issues there and then you've got the likes of this uap pilot sheet metal door this is selling for two dollars 22 at the moment next to no resistance there and then you look at this sleeping bag which came out fairly recently and well look at that look at this no resistance if this if this whole collection keeps getting more and more skins what do you reckon is going to happen to the likes of this and this and this considering that they didn't sell that much there's hardly any quantity on the steam market and for some strange reason, Face Punch really seems to enjoy accepting them. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? <laughs> so, something for you to consider if you're looking around for potential investments. If we keep seeing more deplorable collections uh, being, you know, built up like this, you should consider investing into the skins that came out first in that collection. All right? So, just wanted to point out. But that's not a deplorable. That is, well... A weapon, I guess you could say. I don't know why they're green. That's always confused me. I guess they just thought, this isn't worth $2 by default. We'll just list it for like 90 cent, 99 cents. Anyway, 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 that's that's nothing. Okay, talking about this more specifically, as I said, yeah, I, I can see this easily going like for half the price uh, by the end of this month. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do like a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. It is what it is. Uh, but you can't turn this into metal. That's the point I was trying to get across. For some reason, it considers it as clothing and armor, so you only make, be able to make cloth out of it. <laughs> anyway, point made. Um, it's abnormal. Don't need to rush into buying it. However, I don't think we're going to be going too crazy on that at the moment, so it is what it is. Shall we move on? Let's do that. Okay, so Ronin Road Sign Gloves. This collection is a bit of a funny one, so let's just explain the process. This tier three armor was made like on like the what was it like the uh, the eleventh of September, accepted as an early pick. This tier two armor was made in like the twenty uh, fifth of September, accepted as an early pick. So what what do you mean, Hedge? Basically, during the same week that this was submitted to the workshop, it was instantly accepted in the very next rust door for this and this and the gloves. So what, 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 what's so special? Basically, I'm under the impression that Face Punch really does like this collection. I'm under the impression that at some point in November, we very likely will be seeing Ronin hoodie and pants being submitted, and we very likely will be seeing them being accepted, and we will very likely have a full collection of Ronin. So, knowing that, knowing that, all right, are you confident in this collection? Are you confident in these gloves? Because as of now, we only have 6,500 of these. I think we are going to be getting more sales compared to this kilt but it's probably at the very least going to be wedged between the amount of like the average sales of the tier two between the tier three so this is probably going to do maybe about ten thousand sales and then you know look at all of these other road sun glove skins when times are good pretty much every single one of these glove skins are in the positive more specifically the ones that are part of well-established collections as of now i probably would sit here and say ronin is basically well established it just isn't fully complete we're still waiting for the hoodie and pants but yeah I wouldn't be surprised if these Ronin gloves, considering that we don't really have that many red, uh, no, red skin road sign gloves. You do have like Corrupted and I guess most of JPEG, but this is a perfectly fine, cool looking red pair of gloves right here that I don't think, you know, you can find an equal to. I think it stands out very nicely by itself. I think people will be appreciating this as time goes on, even independently from the Ronin collection. So I can see this doing quite all right, but at the very least, I see it retaining its value. I can't imagine it's going to instantly go crazy, but with the likes of hoodie and <clears throat> with the likes of hoodie and pants impending at some point around maybe November time, all the better for this, all right? And then we you know when you look at all of these road sign glove skins, how expensive are they? Well, let's just look at them by highest priced, and you could well I don't think we're going to have anything like <laughs> Forest Raiders with twenty twenty six dollars there. No, no, no. But you can see quite a lot of them do go up to like four five dollars, and right now this is selling for how much ninety nine cents. Things could work out very nicely for this. I could imagine it will double in price in about a year or so if everything lines up perfectly for it. So consider that. But also consider you don't want to buy too many of them, right? Remember, you still have to be able to sell them. So that's a bit awkward. Just, just point that out. Just point that out. So regardless, things are looking pretty interesting for this. I see it having a pretty nice future ahead of it. Maybe this is something you might want to buy. Or maybe you just do a very strong bar draw on. We shall see. So just wanted to say things are looking perfectly fine for this, but it does look like it's going to probably end up about ten to 12,000 sales, which would like wedge it right between tier two armor and tier three armor sales, which should be okay. Okay. 
Concentric MP5. Now, uh, unfortunately, I'm not that enthusiastic about this one. Um, concentric collection doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to have a lot of people going crazy for it. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And, well, MP5s, how have you been performing over the past couple of days? Because we did... We did have the buff that came out, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to have made that much of a difference. Maybe things will change when post-Christmas hits and we get a whole lot more people playing and it probably becomes a whole lot more noticeable. But as of now, the buff doesn't seem to have made too much of a difference in regards to all of these MP5 skins. Maybe it's based on the fact that there's far too many MP5 skins on the Steam market at the moment, and it's going to take a while for them to gradually increase in price. <laughs> well, we did see the likes of the Redemption MP5. Uh, when we found out about the buff, there's like 220 stock on the Steam market. It went down to like 180, and now there's it's gone back up to 232. So... Yeah, awkward. I will sit here and say, though, the Blackout MP5 has gone up in price very nicely. So this dipped to a fairly low point as of like two weeks ago, but it started to shoot back up a fair bit. So right now it's $6.52. And yeah, can you see how it went down? Things kind of changed once we realized there was a buff coming out and now it starts to start going back up in price again. So this kind of recovered a fair bit. I'm not sure if it's going to stick like that for the rest of this October, but maybe this is the beginning of something, right? So... MP5s in general, I do hope we see the return of the old MP5. A lot of people appreciated that. <laughs> so <laughs> I would like to see that happen. But as of now, as of now, I'm not seeing the immediate uh, positive effects that I was hoping for. So maybe it's a matter of not everybody is fully aware that the MP5 is better. Or maybe it isn't better. Maybe we just uh, skipped ahead too much and thought, oh yeah, just increasing the uh, damage is going to make all the difference. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Concentric MP5. Based on that, I worry for you. And I think that's going to end up being a 70 cent to 90 cent uh, buy order. Based on the fact that I don't think MP5s have changed that much in terms of people's overall opinions. Not instantly but in terms of this collection it's not exactly super in demand so the awkwardness is it's very likely to go below or down to around a dollar so 70 cent to 90 cent by order it is what it is if we do see some more skins for this collection being accepted things could potentially improve with the mp5 being uh, accepted i did see like uh, some movement for the kilt and the coffee can but Still need to see Tier 3 and Hoodie and Pants being accepted. It's not like he hasn't tried, but Face Punch doesn't seem to be budging on whether they want to accept it or not. So, Moving on, we do have the Neanderthal Furnace. And, well, this potentially will be the lowest selling furnace skin of all of this year. As of now, it's only done 4,500 uh, sales, apparently. But it really does look like it's going to struggle to reach uh, 10,000 sales. Now, we did have this Cactus Furnace, which only did just barely over 9,000 sales. We shall see if this potentially doesn't match up to it. But what I can sit here and say is we are seemingly getting a Neanderthal deplorable collection getting started here. And, well, very low sales for both of them, it's expected. But if we do keep seeing more and more and more and more being accepted, all the better to consider investing into these two because you're going to have a fully established deplorable collection there. But, you know, the actual demand, you know, is there actual demand for the skins? <laughs> that definitely would, of course, you know, help with the prices and whatnot. Come on, Hedge, you've got to think like that. But, you know, when we if we do keep seeing more and more, we should start to see an increase in demand. But, you know... Who wants to pretend to be a caveman? Do you really want to pretend to be a caveman and grunt at everybody and go ug ug and <laughs> and uh, paint on walls and whatnot? I think you know. I think I'm actually bringing up a very good idea here for a lot of people. <laughs> you know what? We could have like a caveman stone building skin, couldn't we? That actually look. That actually would look pretty cool. Face punch. I hope you're watching this. I've got a brand new idea for you, but you know they've already got free stone building skins already. So anyway, anyway. With this, we just got to keep an eye on the workshop, all right? Let's see if we do see some more skins being submitted for this Neanderthal set, and then, you know, maybe things might work out very nicely for it. As of now, we have three skins, and two of them being deplorables that came out very recently, but we got to see if there's any more after this. So, as of now, I'm just going to leave that. It is not abnormal, but with the amount of sales that it's probably going to get, it might be an interesting thing to put a barter down for. 
might be something that might be interesting to put an actual purchase down for. But uh, furnace skins in general, especially during the year, they don't seem to retain their value. But we're getting close to post-Christmas, so we'll sh we shall see what happens. But with the sheer lack of sales, this could be very vulnerable to manipulation. Definitely something to keep an eye out for. So, again, we shall see what happens next, all right? So, yeah, you might notice I do kind of repeat myself in how I approach things. You will probably realize you've now learned pretty much everything in regards to Rust skin investing then. <laughs> Rust skin economy basically just repeats itself every year. And uh, if you learn from that, you'd know how to approach all of this and how to somewhat, you know, nicely still make some profits here and there. So other than that, things are looking very good. This is a much more in demand batch of skins compared to the previous week. And we'll look at the previous week all right now. So how are the skins from last week? Well, the AK has uh, definitely gone down in price. We already talked about that a little bit earlier. Someone dumped a massive chunk of them onto me. I don't know why people buy these for $2 and then instantly sell them for less than a dollar. I am confused. I don't know why it's going on. Ronin Collection doing very nicely at the moment, and you shouldn't be too surprised by that. Unfortunately, Neanderthal Sleeping Stone not really holding up very all right. Uh, Damage Tiles Rug seems to be doing okay, but I don't really want to judge it right now. You've got to wait at least a week and then look at it and then make a decision if there's, uh, you know, like if there's actual like demand for it. Because I'm pretty sure there's a lot more of these that were bought, and we just haven't seen them actually being listed on the Steam market. Uh, I believe last week. We're looking at the likes of the UAP pilot sleeping bag, which we could probably go take a look at right now. And initially, this appeared to be selling for about $8, but no, it was a case of nobody wanted to list theirs below $8. And gradually, as time went on, when more people were able to sell their UAP pilot sleeping bag skin, they kept undercutting each other and undercutting each other and undercutting each other. And well, now it's below its rust all price. Ta-da! But that's how people behave. That's what people are like. So yeah, damn, Punk Jack down 20%. Redemption ever so slightly down. It's because we didn't see the Tier 2 this week. And well, if we don't see Tier 2 potentially for the next Rust Door, things could be a little bit awkward. Now, we don't have Charitable Rust armor skins this year, so maybe we will see Tier 2 appear with the Charitable Rust skins. But I kind of, I'm kind of in the position of maybe Face Punch doesn't want to have too crazy... Uh, of skins being accepted based on the idea that you don't want like to take away from people potentially wanting to buy the charitable rust skins um you know because you've got to raise some money for charity and whatnot but then again they accepted that uh that garage door this week um <laughs> loads of stupid things going on but yeah anyway one thing i should also just quickly point out that double barrel shotgun right here this is actually doing quite all right it didn't sell that you know it didn't sell an insane amount but yeah, as expected, this looks like it's just going to retain its value for a very long time. Barders are okay. The, the listings are okay. You do have 33 here. Okay, maybe that's not okay. But this actually might be just a perfectly fine thing that's just going to always stick around $2. So if you just put down like a $1.50 buy order, you probably just make some easy quick flips. Maybe this does start to flourish. Who knows? But it's definitely something to keep an eye out for. Right, then we look at the likes of September 14, and well, Abyss is still holding strong. Remember, guys, it took a version 2 of Abyss Tier 2 to uh, be made for it to finally be accepted. Maybe, you know, we haven't seen the likes of Abyss Hoodie Pants being accepted. It's unfortunate, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see a version 2 in November time, all right? So don't give up hope. But regardless, you could still, like, pair this up with, like, I don't know, Tempered Hoodie and Pants. Someone did show that to me on uh, Twitter. I don't have it on me right now, unfortunately. But it does look quite nice, especially with, like, Tempered Gloves. It looks really cool. So I'm uh, just pointing out something there for you if uh, that interests you. Grass Rug still seems to be holding its value, so good to you. Pug Rock only down by 20%. How many of you are on the Steam market? Let's just go take a real quick look. What do I see? It's loading, loading, loading. And there's only 51 I am convinced he's actually going to rise up in price pretty nicely around post-Christmas time. He, he, I, there's no resistance there. I think a lot of people will be appreciating him. Yes, he might scream and shout quite a lot like a normal pug dog, but uh, I think he might be the best rock skin out of all the rock skins in terms of performance when we see the uh, prices go up around post-Christmas time. So keep an eye on him, or maybe he contends with the hamster. <laughs> and then, uh, the you know, the first rust door of September... This door, unfortunately, top seller of this week, down 62%. The UAP pilot door, it has been seeing more skins being added to, to its collection, so it's been holding up a fair bit better. 
Rhino Tier 3, still holding up, still has those very same buy orders. Look at this. Buy orders holding up at $2.50. I have not seen things like this happen before that much. It, like, this is very uncommon. <laughs> um, so whoever is doing this really does think that this is going to retain its value, maybe purely based on the fact that Desert Raiders is just far too expensive. Like, Desert Raiders Tier 3, even now, the pair of the Tier 3 uh, pieces is $50 if you want to buy both of them. This right here, it's still $5 for both of them. So the buy orders are still keeping that the price. This very likely will be retaining its value. The future for this could be pretty interesting. And as I said, maybe Himmick just needs to make a version 3 of his hoodie and pants. Maybe he just makes tier 2. Uh, who knows? But don't rule out the idea of a new version of a skin being made, because it happens quite a lot. We did see the likes of Banana Hoodie and Pants version 2 being produced, but that wasn't accepted this week, unfortunately. I'm not sure what's going to happen to the future of this uh, Banana Tier 2 set, but I'm pretty sure the skin creators behind them probably will still be producing skins for the whole collection, so maybe they start making deplorables. We shall see. And Diaz, all right, this is an interesting thing to point out, Diaz got two... Two Twitch drops accepted. He uh, In the contest, both the skins he produced for Charitable Rust were accepted as Twitch drops. His small bag and his locker skin. So maybe we might see the likes of Hoodie and Pants being accepted at some point in the near future. Ooh, we shall see. Or maybe the boots, maybe the tools. I don't know, but it's definitely something to keep an eye out for, all right? Keep an eye out for that. And uh, I guess we could probably talk about Charitable Rust. So Charitable Rust is next week. We are expected to have this AK-47, this MP5, this hoodie, and this garage door being in the Rust store. And they're very likely going to probably sell for like, well, this is probably going to be like $10. This will probably be like $5. This will probably be like $5. And this will probably be like $5. All proceeds go to Charity Water, which is the uh, um, charity that Charitable Rust is supporting this year. So, you know, consider saving up some money. Maybe you might not like the Brutalist garage door this week. I can point out this is a glow-in-the-dark garage door you see this porthole right here it does that is transparent you can see through that so i just want to confirm that is a transparent garage door but it's probably going to cost ten dollars so just point that out cool and if you want to be informed in regards to what skins are the twitch drops please consider watching this short video i do go over that pretty like not super in depth it's like 60 seconds long but you understand like we know what the skins are you can see it in uh the rustified youtube channel's uh sh skin showcase video or you could just watch it here if you really want to and uh i guess we could you know there you go there is the small box very nice and do remember you have to have a twitch account connected to your steam account to be able to receive these skins all twitch drops are freely available to you you just have to watch a certain amount of time of uh twitch streams uh for, and, and i believe it's any people any people who are streaming rust during the event that's, you know, that's it. I think you might have to watch Rustified's uh, Twitch channel for a few skins, I'm guessing. It might be just two of them. But you've got that double wooden door skin right there that's glow in the dark and transparent. You've got this uh, large box here if you want to feed the fish. And there's the pants. So the pants, the uh, the Chatham Rust pants, they're going to be given away as a Twitch drop. But the hoodie, you will have to buy. I guess they did that to try and entice people to uh, make a purchase, which I don't blame them for. You know, that's cool. So consider looking at that again if you really want to, but you just saw the skins there. So, yep, Charitable Rust is next week. And, well, what is going to be that Rust store? We do not know. Could it be like last year, where it's a batch of skins with the Charitable Rust skins, which you can see right here. Batch of skins here. Charitable Rust skin there. Charitable Rust skin there. Charitable Rust skin there. Charitable Rust skin there. We shall see. And do remember, Charitable Rust skins are not tradable, not marketable. If you want them, you've got to buy them during that week, because if you don't, well, they're gone. <laughs> and then the year before this, things were a fair bit different. When you look at Charitable Rust for 2021, it was only the Charitable Rust skins. So we shall see. All right, we shall see. So other than that, best of luck to all of you and your investments. Let's see how things turn out. Let's see how things, uh, you know, progress from here and now. Um, we are so close to post-Christmas, right? And even then, like more specifically, Christmas. If you invest into those Christmas skins, and I should point this out, I've noticed quite a lot of gingerbread skins have gone down a price. Don't forget, we're getting the gingerbread building skin that's going to be available to everybody during the uh, winter event or, you know, Christmas event, you know what I'm about. So uh, go look at all these gingerbread doors. If you're still wondering, hmm, what could I buy? I think you can hop back into the gingerbread doors again because they've gone back down in price. If you look over to here, whilst it's $2.50, what price do you reckon this is going to be when we look at the uh, gingerbread building um, skin being introduced 
to everybody. Remember, it's going to be freely available to everybody during the Christmas event. I think this is going to go up in price very, very, very easily. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up to $5. And don't forget, you know, you've also got the likes of the garage door as well, which is uh, over here. Large boxes right there. But yeah, garage door, that's also gotten a fair bit cheaper again. So start looking around. Third party sites, Steam Market, do what you can. Pick them up whilst you can because they are definitely going to go up in price ever so nicely based on Christmas and the gingerbread building skin. Sounds good? Sounds good? All right, then. So just look around. There's many opportunities out there. You know, count out what money you can work with. Make some purchases. Make some interesting moves. Post-Christmas is just around the corner. Lots of profits will be made, all right? Best of luck to all of you. Have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely October. Keep an eye on the workshop because uh, we're seeing a lot of very interesting Halloween skins. Um, I don't think regular skins can be submitted this week. I'm not 100% sure. But maybe I'll make a video promoting the idea of just going through all these skins and you know offering some nice comments and whatnot. I'll probably do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so catch you later. See you and goodbye.